there is a word used to indicate the noun phrase's relationship to the verb, and this is called a preposition. English has more than 50, such as in, by, on, with, and so on. Column has just one preposition, ah. Uh, this is a very useful little word. It can be used to translate many English prepositions, but it is most commonly used in passive sentences where the verb ends in tung or nung. When we speak of word order, we are referring to the word order of verb, noun phrases, and prepositional phrases in the sentence. The word order of a basic sentence in English has the subject noun phrase first, followed by the verb, and then the object noun phrase, as in the girl saw the boy. So we've got our subject, the verb, then our object. The preposition ah uh, models sentences. And then I was helped by the boy. In these examples, the preposition a uh, is translated to by. In our first example, it shows the passive in the control form with the tongue ending. And the verb, as usual, comes first in the column sentence. The column preposition may also translate as other prepositions in English. For example, atza suj on the road, or atza stai with the stick. Any passive sentence, the subject is acted upon. For every active sentence, there's a passive sentence that means the same thing. For example, the boy hit the ball is active, and the ball was hit by the boy is its passive form. A passive in column can usually be identified by the T schwa hooked N or N schwa hooked N suffix added at the end of the verb, the tongue and the nung. The tongue form is the control form and the nung form is the non-control form. And here is a list of verbs that can be used. It is looked at. Managed to look at, and then uh, these don't sound right without having uh, a subject. Uh, what was the other word? So very close. Yeah, the, the, just the, the meaning is very, very close too. So, uh, so and then is lifted. I would say it's you, you it, it for lifted. Sat. Sat. Okay, the is lifted is Sat, what did you say with that one? Sat. Sat. And managed to lift it up. Sat. And uh, then they managed to be cut. Be cut me accidentally. Amen. Amen. Is held. And then the other one is. Is held. And is hit. Eating. 
and the other one managed to be chosen. Or finally chosen. This is yeah. And the next one is is awakened. So woke up. And you manage the wake of the Okay, and then um, yeah, it's taken. And and it is dried. And then uh, in this section, you will learn that the word order of a basic clalum sentence is quite different from English. If we look at our example model sentences. This is the first one from our preposition word order. And then this is the models for our or the word order. And we're going to compare these two. In the example, the preposition a is translated by right here. The second example is also passive, but in the non control form with the num ending. By the girl, the first one there. And then the other way of saying it. And the boy helped the girl. And the boy helped his mother. There are two ways of saying this. And the other way. Okay, and then my father built the road. And then the other way of saying it. And now check out the first two models that have the exact same word in column, but the order of the word is different. The first one, the first column sentence, the noun phrase "sasweitwis" comes before the prepositional phrase "atsak agni." In the second model, the noun phrase comes after the prepositional phrase. In a simple clalum sentence, the order of a single noun phrase and prepositional phrase makes no apparent difference in meaning, so you have your choice. Now compare the second pair of models. These two have two noun phrases and no prepositional phrase. The order of the two noun phrases makes a big difference. In a basic active sentence with two noun phrases and clalum, the word order usually has the verb followed by the subject and then the object. So compare this with the English, the girl helped to the boy. So if we compare this English, the girl helped to the boy, it would be verb, subject, object, whereas in English it would be subject, verb, object. Now consider the third pair of models. Both of these mean the boy helped his mother. In this pair of sentences, the order of the noun phrase doesn't matter. So in the last, the last pair of models both mean my father built the road. Again, the order of the noun phrase makes no difference. There are two rules for word order. The first rule is if it is obvious that noun phrase must be the subject, then you can put them in either order. The most common obvious situation is where one participant is human and the other isn't. In these situations, the human is the subject and the non-human is the object. In the last pair of examples, the robe built my the robe built my father would make no sense. So the order doesn't matter. Either way, it must be my father built the road. The second rule: if both participants are human, 
and one possesses the other, then you can put the noun phrase in either order. In this sentence, the boy helped his mother. The boy possesses his mother. So the possessor must be the subject and the order does not matter. It is an important characteristic of column that sentences with two noun phrases like those in the six model sentences are rare. New vocabulary, chat, chat, chai, chai, slani, slani, swaika, swaika, nana, nana. And for our last slide, it'll be our Pranawi. Saat dan san snawi. Pranawi ki wo jach wo jan chat. Saat wo jach wo jan chat jach snawi. Aau wo chat ye ach wo nak. Hi.